Welcome to the Booster IQ video series. This series demonstrates setup and operation of unique features on the Liquid Control's IQ family of registers. Be sure to follow our YouTube channel and you will be notified as new features are released in this video format. I'm Jeff Hageman and today I'm going to demonstrate the save and load configuration process on the IQ register. To begin, we need to place the register in the calibration position. To do this, we'll thread the bolt out that is on the side of the register about six turns and the unit will enter the calibration position. If you have a ticket printer connected, it will also print a ticket. Next, you'll want to make sure that you have the USB drive installed into the housing. Remove the four bolts from the corners of the housing, then open the door to the housing. In the center of the circuit board is the USB port. Take your USB stick and carefully insert it into the USB port, like so. Once you're in the main menu, use the down arrow button to scroll to Setup menu and press OK. Now press the down arrow to Security and press OK again. Once you're in the security mode and your switch is still in the calibration position, there'll be an option for software update here on the screen. If you press that button, you'll go to the software update screen. In the software update screen, this is where you will see the options for save configuration and load configuration. If you scroll down to save configuration and press OK, you'll enter the save configuration screen. In the Save Configuration screen, the first option you'll see is File Name. The file name is always defaulted to LCRIQ Cal. However, if you want to change that file name to a unique name such as a truck number or a company name, just press the OK button and you'll see the Enter File Name screen. So as an example, let's say we wanted to enter a truck number. All we have to do is type over what's already there. So we can just say truck number 45823. OK. And that's all it takes to change the file name. The second field in the Save Configuration menu is Destination. In the Destination file, we can determine where we're going to save this file to. In this case, we're using the USB drive. The last option, Configuration Style, allows you to choose two different configuration styles that we can save. The two options are by unit or by customer. Saving a configuration by unit saves all the parameters for that specific register, including calibration and unit specific information such as tank information, unit ID, and calibration. Saving a configuration style by customer allows you to save a more general purpose configuration that can be used as a template. Say you have multiple trucks that you're building for the same customer and you want all those trucks to have the same configuration and screens that you can view for the user. By setting a customer style configuration, you can take that template and put it onto each truck. However, the customer style configuration does not save unit specific information such as unit ID or calibration information. Once you've made your save configuration settings, simply press the save button. This will start the process of saving the configuration file. Once the configuration file is saved, you'll see a screen showing that the configuration was successfully saved. You can then press OK. To load a configuration, select load configuration from the menu and press OK. In this screen, the first option is file name. In file name, you can press OK and use this drop down list to find all the available configuration files that you've saved on your USB stick. In this case, I'm going to locate the file that we had just saved, which is truck 45823. I'll now press OK. Another convenient option in the load configuration is the ability to perform a clear all before loading the configuration. This will clean the slate on the LCR programming and load the configuration fresh over factory default values. Once you've set up all your load configuration options, simply press the load configuration button 
to begin the loading configuration process. Once the configuration is successfully loaded, the screen will return an image saying that the file was successfully loaded. Press OK and the load process is complete. Before you put the unit back into service, make sure to grab your USB stick out of the housing. Open the door, carefully pull the USB drive out of the housing, and then you can shut the unit. Once you've completed the save and load configuration process, you want to put the register back in the normal operation mode. To do this, thread the bolt back into the housing. This will print the calibration ticket if you have a printer connected. And then press the home button. Thank you for watching this episode of Boost Your IQ on save and load configuration. If you have further questions or comments on this feature or any other feature of the IQ register, please do not hesitate to contact the Liquid Controls Technical Services Department. Thank you.